Our top story this morning, Turkey has launched a ground offensive in northeastern Syria just hours after deploying war planes and artillery to territories held by Kurdish forces. The international community has slammed the Turkish aggression, uh, including other countries in the region, the UN, as well as a number of European nations as well. For more on this, we're going to turn straight over to our Kim Dami. So Dami, Turkey has been telegraphing this offensive for days now, but we can now say for sure that it's underway. Right, Mark. Turkish officials confirmed that troops have now entered the area east of the Euphrates. Uh, based on a video footage, civilians fled border towns filled with smoke and visible jet trails in the sky. At least 15 people, including eight civilians, have been killed so far, according to the London-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says the operation is to create a safe zone with our Kurdish forces, which will also shelter Syrian refugees. The Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces earlier vowed to resist any Turkish advance. President Trump on Wednesday called the Turkish offensive a bad idea after essentially giving the invasion the green light following his abrupt decision to pull U.S. forces out of that part of Syria. That decision sparked a storm of criticism at home and abroad. While the U.N. Security Council will meet on Thursday to address Turkey's military operation, European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker pressed Turkey to halt its military actions. The international community, including France, Germany and the UK, also called Turkey's operation an act of jeopardizing security and humanitarian efforts. Back to you, Mark.